Today I'm changing the ignition coil on my 1963 Ford 2000 tractor. First before you go and take anything loose, you want to look at your terminals on it. It's got three terminals. You have your main one that goes to the center of the distributor cap. You got wire that goes from a terminal from the coil to the distributor right here for your condenser. And then you got one wire that goes back to your ignition switch. The coil should be marked which one's for the distributor. Mine's got a mark right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it says distributor. If you don't have any markings on yours, look at how the coil is made and pay attention to which wire goes to which terminal. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. Just pops right out. And these two nuts that hold these two terminals on is going to be 3 8 inch usually. Next, I'm going to take out the two bracket bolts that holds the initial coil in. On mine, it's a half inch. Next, I'm going to compare the new one to the old one. And it looks pretty similar. The terminals are spaced out a little bit more than the old one, but that should work just fine. It has a positive and negative label on this one. Since it's reverse polarity, minus six volt reverse polarity, the minus sign is going to go towards the to the to the distributor, and the positive will go to the ignition switch. I've got to remove the bracket off the old one, put it on the new one. All it is just a flathead screw and feeds into a nut. I'm going to slide on my new one, tighten it up. Now I'm going to bolt the new one back onto the tractor. Now I'll connect my terminal wires back up. One thing to note, my uh, ignition coil came with new terminal nuts, and they're a different size than the old ones that's on my old coil. These are 5 sixteenths. I'm going to move this cover off the center terminal for the distributor cap. Put my distributor cap wire back on. Last, crank it up and see how it runs. If you found this video helpful if you liked it please remember to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel